Hi guys, today's video will be another Trash to Treasure video. And I'm always excited to shoot these. These are probably my favorite ones to film. I know you guys like them too. Isn't it so much fun to see what can be turned out of other people's junk? Just making something beautiful again. Uh, but what I have in front of me here is a, it looks like an old display rack that someone may have used, uh, you know, to store, like in a store maybe, to have, you know, magazines or books or uh, something like that in these uh, metal pockets. And I got it for, I think it was a dollar at a thrift store. And what I have in my left hand here is a piece of beadboard that is left over from my parents' island. So I didn't go just buy this for this project. I just had it sitting around here. And I just saw this combination with this beadboard and maybe some natural wood, um, you know, bordering it and maybe adding this in the middle or a section of this to use as a magazine holder or a paper holder in an office or maybe a recipe book holder in a kitchen. Uh, so we'll see what happens with that. And the other item I have here is this old magazine rack that was doomed to be for the trash pile. And I rescued it. Uh, I just love the nice dark color. It's really, really dirty right now. But I think really all it might need is just a good, nice coat of paint. So we'll see. You know, sometimes I change my mind as I go. But for now, that's what I'm planning on doing with it. So follow me as I work on this and enjoy. So as you can see, I'm only planning on painting the spindles and the base of this rack. I use shrink wrap and masking tape to, you know, mask off the other areas. And if I don't like the way it looks after I'm finished, I can always take it off and also paint that. But I thought I'm going to give it a shot, see how it looks. I still need to clean uh, this. There's a lot of dust uh, sitting on the base here. Couldn't just blow it all off. So I have a wet rag here that I'm going to use to clean that. And the paint I'll be using is uh, Do It Best brand paint. Once again, it's a satin base and the color is called Spectral. I have it slightly watered down for my sprayer. So I found some old wood here that I think would fit perfectly uh, around this beadboard to frame it. And uh, first I have to take all the old nails out and then cut it to size. So I'm needing more white on this piece. I think there's too much of a contrast, the stark white to the nice dark wood. So I'm going to go ahead and paint the legs white and possibly some of these pieces here. Not sure yet. Maybe the whole thing will end up being white um, and just, you know, doing a rub through. But I'll see how it looks after just doing the legs and I'll probably just brush it on because I don't want to use my sprayer, you know, for just a small amount like this.
I hope you guys enjoyed this trash to treasure episode. Many of you have asked already what I do with the items that I repurpose or make. I usually sell them. Um, sometimes I'll keep something for myself, but it's a lot of fun to you know set up a booth somewhere uh, or just private sell some of these items. I also wanted to take a moment to just thank you guys for watching my videos. Uh, I think I've mentioned this before, but when I started this channel six months ago, I never dreamed that people would even want to see what I'm doing. So I've been truly blessed with all the interest that has been shown. Uh, thank you for all the kind comments you guys leave below. Um, I don't always get around to answering each and every one of them, but I do read them all and they just bless my day. So thank you for that. And uh, I have a lot of exciting projects coming up. I can't wait to share with you guys. Uh, fall just around the corner here. I'll be doing some fall decorations and I want to make videos of that too. So uh, stay tuned and I hope you guys all have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.